go to the tools panel of Affinity Designer and select the pencil tool. Once you've done that, add, now you could also use the pen tool as well for this, just to add a line. But I've got this and I've got here the appearance panel. All the panels here are view menu and studio, appearance, brushes, etc. So you just select that stroke. Now I can now change it by using say an oil, a brush stroke. And I'm gonna go for say 324. I just want a fairly big brush there. So 324 have been applied. What I can now do is go down here, add stroke. So click there, add stroke, and that will add a basic stroke, zero points, normal, and no, no color. But I'm just gonna click that and I'm just gonna change that to black. You can't see it still because of course, it's still one point. But what you can do, you can go down to brushes. And I'm gonna go for maybe say 200. So a 200 stroke, and that's added on top of that original brush. And of course I can always modify it if I want to by just clicking there 200 and changing that to maybe 100 or something else. But what I can now do, I can also add another one. So add stroke, and I'm gonna go for green this time. So click there, uh, just go to green, and I'm gonna make it one of these other brushes. So uh, let's just uh, make certain you select it. Otherwise, if you're selecting one of the others, it will change the brush for that. So change that, apply that. Now you can see that's slightly bigger than obviously that 100, so it's on top of it, so you can't see it. Now you could change the blending mode, perfectly reasonable, but you can also just click there and you can resize it. Sometimes it will actually respond. Sometimes it doesn't. I quite often have click on it and it doesn't respond. Normally a two or three goes, you should get something. And of course you can always go to this one if you decide, you know what, I don't want that, 100 point. Let's just go for say 200. Now you'll notice I have to enter the value 200 in the actual edit field. The width only goes up to 100, so the slider, but you can actually set that to 200, 300, whatever. And you can vary that, so you can see, you can do that. You can also change the blend modes. If you want to change that, go from normal, you've got all these other options if you want to run through those as well. And there you have it. Nice, lovely, multi brush stroke line or pencil stroke. Now what you can also do is you go to styles because you might think, you know what, this is great. Love this, love this uh, style design. Well, I can save it. So just go to the right side menu there and you can say add style from selection and it will generate another one. And there it is just down there. So if I remove this, now I'm just gonna remove this thing and then I can just go again. I say, you could use a pen tool, just as good. Don't have to use a pencil, but say like that. You can click there and you can apply it very quickly just by going to this. And there's one I created earlier there. So you can just do that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.